Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about North Korea showed off to the world their new sinister looking hypersonic missile that sends shockwaves to Japan, South Korea and especially the United States. The Korean Central News Agency released the video footage of the Hwasong 16B hypersonic missile test. The video footage was released one day later after the successful test. This is typical North Korean practice to safeguard safety of the test, and especially Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, which was present to the event. The Hwasong-16 is predecessor to the medium-range ballistic missile, the Hwasong-10 and 12, which has also the ability to strike any U.S. military base in South Korea, Japan, and Guam. The Hwasong-16B is a two-stage solid-fuel ballistic missile mounted with a MARV or maneuverable re-entry hypersonic vehicle as a warhead. It's capable of carrying an estimated warhead capacity of 2,500 to 3,000 kilograms of conventional or nuclear bomb. The missile reached 600 kilometers during the test, and the missile also reached maximum height of 101 kilometers before landing in the East Korean Sea or the Sea of Japan. It was carried out to test the missile's performance and whether the weapon performed on how it's designed to function. The missile has an estimated range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers, make it intermediate ballistic missile in category. In comparison, long-range ballistic missile or missile in category that has more than 5,500 kilometer range, while short-range ballistic missile has 1,000 kilometer range or below. The impressive part of the Wasong 16B missile is that it uses a more advanced solid fuel rocket similar to the new Chinese missiles. Solid fuel are less complicated to maintain, and it's ready to be fired at any moment's notice. Unlike liquid fuel, which are very corrosive to the structure of the rocket, so the missile's liquid fuel is drained and it's only fueled when it's about to be fired. So it needs time to prepare, and once it's loaded, it won't stay loaded for a long time unless it was fired. So the fuel again is drained once the missile is put into storage. It's only recently that North Korea started fielding solid fuel rocket on its short, medium, and long-range ballistic missile. More importantly, the Wasong 16B is more lethal because of its maneuverable re-entry hypersonic glide vehicle, unlike the convention ICBM ballistic warhead. The hypersonic re-entry vehicle can glide back into the middle of the atmosphere and make calculated turns and maneuver into the target while traveling beyond Mach 5 make it harder to detect and intercept compared to a conventional ballistic missile with a bullet falling down trajectory. North Korea first tested hypersonic missile in 2021 and 2022. At that time, many dismissed it as hypersonic fake prototype missile, and they thought North Korea was just showing off that they also have what the Chinese has. It was at the time when China shocked Pentagon when they successfully tested a hypersonic vehicle that circled the world. It sent a signal that they can hit any country in the world at hypersonic speed. But people tend to forget why North Korea can also achieve this as not something of a novelty. Remember their military, and especially their missile program, is North Korea's utmost priority. So the country's monetary resources, top engineers and scientists are all working on it. They are also obviously getting help from the Chinese, and especially more recently, from the Russian. Russia purchased from North Korea millions of artillery shells, hundreds of thousands of rockets, and short-range ballistic missile to support its current war effort in Ukraine. North Korea struggled in the past to put a spy satellite in space with multiple field launched. But after the transfer of weapons to Russia, they immediately successfully launched their first spy satellite in space. This success could also cause a ripple effect and put more trouble to the United States and its allies in region. Maybe North Korea would also soon field hypersonic warhead with their short-range ballistic missile like the KN-23 and KN-24 with ranges from 400 to 500 kilometers. Or put it on their anti-ship missiles that could threaten U.S. warship in the region, similar to the Chinese A2AD anti-access, anti-area denial hypersonic missile like the DF-17 and DF-21, the forced American carrier battle group to operate further. More importantly, they could also put hypersonic glide vehicle and their long-range ballistic missile like the Hwasong-18. The missile has a range of 15,000 kilometers. Basically, the Hwasong-18 can hit every part of the United States, and having it armed with hypersonic missile would even make it harder for the American to intercept. And that's all for today. 
Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.